<laughs> See all these lovely couples out here, couple the fuck up. Ow. Look at that black love. She about to jack his dick in the front row. I'm just, don't move your hand now. Are you two together right here? No. Friends, uh, friends on. And your shirt say virginity rocks? You a virgin? She said she didn't know. <laughs> she said she's supporting y'all, the rest of these bitches who ain't virgin. I didn't even know that shit was still cool. <laughs> I feel bitches that was like virginity rock shirts <laughs> back in college. Like, they used to kill people. Like, I'm like, bitch, you killing somebody. Where is that frustration going? I'm single. Any other single people other than me and her? <laughs> Everybody clapping next to a man, too, ain't they? I'm like, why the fuck we don't go outside and be like, hey, you single, we single, let's get together, let's match. <laughs> Shit don't ever work out like that. I'm single, so my homegirl hit me with this new proposition. She said it's this new thing where you can manifest a man. <laughs> Couple of ladies on that train like, woo -hoo. I was like, ooh, that sounds like some bullshit. But I'm at the point in my life where I don't have nothing to lose. So I was like, what we got to do? She said, first of all, you got to write a list of what you want in a man. I said, that's easy. I want a man that's tall, dark, handsome, with muscles and a good hairline. And she was like, ooh, shit, that's asking for a lot. I was like, if your list is so magical, what the fuck? She was, she's like, it don't work like that. She said, you had me until you said muscles and a good hairline, bitch. That was too much. I said, what we got to do next? She said, next, you got to write a list of what you need in a man. I said, okay, I need a man that's loving, caring, supportive, financially stable, and a family man. She said, okay, you know this man don't look like that man. <laughs> the man you need don't look like the man you want. And I was like, your little list is stupid. Why would we write two lists? So I ripped it up and I wrote one long ass list and I kept it to myself. Cause if I'm gonna commit, I'm gonna commit to some shit. And I kept it and I recited it. I ended up seeing this guy, he was everything I wanted, but he was in a distance and he didn't see me. So I was like, yo, I gotta shoot my shot. I'm afraid to approach men. Like, I don't give a fuck if I love you. I'm obsessed with you. I will never approach you because when I was 13, I was madly in love with this guy and he didn't love me back. But as an adult, I was able to process the reason why he didn't love me the way I loved him is because he was my cousin. <laughs> my cousin was fine as fuck. I, I used to be 13 with no body at all, no ass, and I used to wear little booty shorts and I used to drop shit over at his house and he'd be like, yo nigga, you weird, get out of here. <laughs> but I went up to this guy, I was like, hey. He was like, hey. I said, so, are you single? He said, yes. I was like, mm. I was like, what do you do? He said, I'm a personal trainer. And I was like, ooh, broke, 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 broke. <laughs> all the ladies know is no financial stability in personal training at all. <laughs> Couple of people done fucked the personal trainer over here. Like, it's no, it's no security, you know what I mean? No life insurance, nothing. It doesn't, no health care. It's just, just good sex, just it. Yeah. That get old after like two, three days, you know? <laughs> so my girlfriend says, see, I told you, go back to the list. And I thought about all the people that I know that are in relationships. Like, how long you two been together? 31 years. 31 years? Damn! <laughs> don't clap. He don't got on the goddamn ring. It's <laughs> our 30th anniversary. Oh, congratulations! 30 years. That's what's up, brother. That's beautiful. Where y'all from? Chicago, yeah. That's even more immaculate because y'all made it out. Y'all both alive. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's beautiful. <laughs> it's like, you could be walking around like 30 years ago. Pop, pop, pop. You're like, oh, shit. <laughs> Baby, I told you we wouldn't go make it to 31 because of these niggas. <laughs> how long y'all two been together? Two years. I love how he looked at you because he didn't know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> Men don't know when to count. They don't know when it was the first time they asked you out or the first time they slept with you or both. They don't know what the fuck going on. How long y'all two been together? You say four. You think four. He get on your nerves, don't he? 
Yeah, that bitch. I stopped counting because he just snore when he sleep. I don't, I don't like it. He clapping because he know he snore. Uh. And I see all these beautiful couples and I know all the couples in my life. And um, I started to realize that my lifestyle requires a man with body fat. So now I look at life different. Every time I see a man with a little stomach, I'm like, ooh, bitch, he got a good job. <laughs> I get turned on by dad bods now. Oh, when I see a dad bod, I know he eat, I eat, we eat. <laughs> okay. And when I tell you single ladies, I will kick you the fuck down to get next to a man with back fat love handles. Cause every time I see that, I'm like, oh bitch, he own property. That's a property body right there. <laughs> this man own a house, don't he? <laughs> For 31 years. <laughs> These apartment bodies over here in the front, I ain't fucking with them no more. <laughs> Look at him, nervous as fuck, he gotta pay this bill. Like, ugh, let me call the bank. He don't know what the fuck going on because he's so distracted in that goddamn bill with no life insurance. See, look, he like, oh shit, I'm making bad decisions. You see what I'm saying? Get some goddamn weight on yourself, you'll make better decisions. You wouldn't even be focused on that bill. You're like, ha ha ha, bitch, the money's gonna fall out the sky. <laughs> I'm Daphne Springs, thank you very much.